hey everybody welcome back to my channel I have been really sick physically I've been really physically sick so forgive the fact that I look really rough I was just studying a few stuff and I had to take a break because I just felt I felt something <laughs> something so I needed to write and um now this ain't a poetry it ain't a poem but naturally a lot of the stuff I say rhymes but this is something I wrote and even though I'm sick and I haven't had time to even make myself look presentable I still feel a strong desire to go ahead and read what I've wrote. I haven't even practiced this, so forgive that too. Can anybody else feel this? What is it? Something is coming. This undescribable something is a burning desire from deep within my soul. It seems to be the source of all spirituality and the source of all creativity. This something is the mystery of existence in itself. And it is coming, somehow, some way. This something, this higher mystery, dwells within me, and it is desperately trying to break free. It also, it also screams from within. Patience, dearie, you will be with me in time. Pass a few more lessons, learn more. Have you ever been so sick of learning? I know I am. Have you ever just needed a break from learning stuff? Then again, if I was to have a break from the lessons of life and daily life itself, what is it then that I would be doing? <laughs> oh, the irony! <coughs> oh, the irony of my mystical soul! What is it that I choose to do with enthusiasm and excitement in my spare time? Do I party? No. Do I like? Do I travel like my heart oh so desires? No. Why? Because I have learned to tend to responsibilities. Arg. What is it that I do in my spare time? I research stuff. I learn stuff. I study stuff. I go on all these internal adventures seeking to find answers and mysteries as though an addiction. Has it gotten me anywhere? No. When? When will this something that is coming finally come for me? <clears throat> Will it be when my Saturn returns? God, I sure hope so. Yes, I'm crazy enough to wish my Saturn return to hurry up and get here so that I may learn. So that I may create with dignity. Sometimes I feel so alone in this world. This whole dimension seems so stupid to me. Why is everyone so unhappy and faithless? Why are people in masses so damn concerned with material, with material items to be earned? Why are there so many stupid and senseless rules? Why can't people simply be free? Why are our elders trapping us with traditions and, guide and guidelines that no longer work rather than bestowing upon us wisdoms that are universal? Why, why, why? This realm is tormenting my soul. And when is this something, this higher mystery, Oh, this world, this realm is tormenting my soul, and when this something, this higher mystery, gets a chance to finally break free, I will teach, and I will be followed by many. It will be, despite my many, many hardships, it will be. It is not simply a dream, but a burning desire. Pray for me, dear elders, dear elders, instead of crippling and stripping my wings pray for me pray that I work with the constellations and God's messages rather than against them I simply want to be myself who am I check this out Sun Sagittarius fifth house moon Aquarius eighth house rising cancer Mercury Scorpio fifth house Venus Sagittarius 6th house, Mars, Scorpio, 
fourth house. Jupiter, retrograde, Aries, tenth house. Saturn, Sagittarius, fifth house. Uranus, Sagittarius, sixth house. Neptune, Capricorn, sixth house. Pluto, Scorpio, Midheaven, Aries. North Node, retrograde, Aries, ninth house. <clears throat> I am philosophy itself. I am a walking taboo. I am a spiritual being beyond even my own comprehension. I am a seeker of mysteries and a lore. I am protective over my loved ones to the point of vengeance when someone harms somebody I love. Though it can be a dangerous poison, I accept it as a balance of light and dark. I love unconditionally, yet still, one would be a fool to underestimate my intelligence and intuitive abilities and mistake my spirituality and kind, generous nature for a weakness. Though I continually strive to aim higher, further and further beyond this realm, and better myself on a daily basis, I still dwell in this realm and I am no pushover. I will protect my loved ones. Keep in mind I do not get offended, offended easily, nor am I stupid enough to start battles. I simply finish them. I enjoy harmony. I try to project a positive energy to all that I am around. I am capable of turning the most mundane task into an, into an exciting adventure, all while learning some deep and intense spiritual meaning slash message at the same time. It is almost impossible for me to do anything at all without my mind showing me some spiritual meaning or message in the process. This truth of me is to the extremity that I can't even clean my own home without seeing how I need to go about cleaning my own soul. <clears throat> I cannot go outside without embracing nature and feeling blessed. I cannot, I cannot simply see a bird and not feel a spiritual connection. Their actions, even if it is simply in how they go about flying, always brings me a deep and intense spiritual revelation. You see, it is very hard for me to fit into this world where, are, where all my mysteries are seen as stupid. Did you ever consider the fact that I think all your, all your materialistic ways are stupid? It's mutual. However, we can benefit from one another. Let's just get along. Pray for me. Pray that I might someday obtain some balance in this lifetime. It seems I'm continuously being overwhelmed and bombarded by routine and responsibilities. When will it be my time to create something without it negatively affecting me? I know my cat. <laughs> I know with every ounce of my being that I'm create that I am called to create. I am a writer, I am an artist, I am a singer slash songwriter, I am a poet, I am a philosopher, I am full of grand ideas and, cre and creativity. Why must this life make it so hard for me to be all that I can be? I refuse to be a starving artist. No, I refuse to be a starving artist. I am full of energy and am a hard worker. I have a son to feed. When is it that I might receive income? For my creative a bit from for that I might receive create that I might receive income for my creative ability instead of bouncing from factory to factory. When will my work be recognized? I do in fact feel a shift coming. When will it get here and what does it want from me? What is this something? This something is forcing me to dig deep within. I rebuke every possible thought of doubt upon me. The only truths are that which are spiritual. Spirituality is the exact opposite of religious traps. Do not attempt to curse my destiny with doubt and the illusions of this realm's senseless sense of reality. The bigger picture is the biggest the bigger picture in itself is unconditional love and an abundance of creativity. What is the difference between all other animals and mankind? We are indeed just animals of this earth. If you see otherwise, you lack, intel you lack intelligence, so for now, agree to disagree. However, what is our wisdom that all other animals are not blessed with? 
Before I go any further, this does not make us superior. No, we are not meant to dominate and destroy. If anything, we are meant to protect, take care of, and live in harmony with other animals. In my opinion, we have destroyed our own natural habitat. We are on a daily basis surrounded by manipulating noise and have destroyed our own sense of instincts and intuition. Give the animals credit for being a bit smarter than we are. However, I ask again, what wisdom do we have that they do not? We are creators. We create things. True, animals give birth and build homes and they surely do have minds and instincts of their own. The human species though, we, could come, we can come up with an entirely new idea all on our own and make our thoughts manifest into reality. We are creators. To prevent a human being from creating is to strip them from their wisdom and divine roots. Once a human is stripped away from their natural wisdom to create, they become an empty shell and in an attempt to fill the void, they then destroy. It is a curse that must end. If I had any say, I would forbid all from destroying imagination. Why is it that anybody daring enough to use their imagination gets labeled as crazy? If I want to believe that I'm an alien, let me believe that. Who really wants to be of this world anyways? If I want to believe in magic, let me. If I want to believe in God, let me. If I want to believe in astrology, let me. One thing I have observed is that animals attack for two reasons, either because they're hungry or they feel threatened. If you're hungry, let me help you out. Dig within yourself, the answers are there. As for those who are threatened, well, you need to do some digging as well. Actually, what you need to do is stop just going around attacking people who are different. If other beliefs are a threat to you keeping your own faith, then you have no faith in your own faith. Therefore, what you say is void. People who believe their own beliefs do not go around attacking because they are not threatened. I feel so sorry for overly religious people who lack true spirituality. They tend to place blame upon those who are different for, quote, quote, tempting others away. In reality, it is people seeing how they treat people that causes them not to believe. Christians, stop blaming gay people, pagans, Muslims, and the devil for the decline in church population and take responsibility for the action of showing lack of unconditional love for other people. The people you're attacking are not killing you nor your beliefs. You're killing yourself and showing others that your beliefs are void. You may see me as a taboo and to the norm I very much so am. You may see me as the biggest sinner of all, but to be quite frank, I could care less what you think. <laughs> I'm not saying this out of an act of vengeance. I'm saying this because I don't think you know you're hurting people, and that hurting all these people for the simple fact that they're different is actually hurting you more. I just want this mass hurting to stop. That comes from my spirit. Why must it be that in return a hate for me comes from yours? Turn my phone off. I will now... Okay. That comes from my spirit. Why must it be that in return a hate for you... A hate for me comes from yours. I will never bow to a being that forces one into hatred. However, you're more than welcome to pray for me as I do you too. Just do not feel sorry for me. I have been made really strong. We can get along. We can learn so much from each other. Much wisdom is obtained by entering one's own abyss. How can you understand me if you choose not to understand you? 
I understand you because I am at peace with my own threatened, vengeful, and protective nature and instincts. I accept it as a part of my nature. I accept it as a part of your nature. What my problem is when it becomes an addiction to attack others and people go about taking and destroying far beyond what is even necessary. It's our nature to be both light and dark, but do not throw it out of balance and do not take it to the masses and extremes of suicide and genocide. It's okay to protect and defend you and your loved ones. Do not be a pushover. Put people in their place no matter how dark that may seem. But it's not okay to go around spiritually killing large groups who didn't do anything to you. Be cautious not to misplace your anger. Get to know yourself. Accept all of you, the light and dark, the good and bad. Maybe then you can grow. Who will accept you if you don't? Geez, really, does anybody else feel this? This something that is coming straight out of the cosmos. It is a divine gift. Much healing needs to take place. Know thyself to heal thyself. This something is an energy within me. It is beginning to leak right out of me. Now, my answer to the question I have so desperately longed for, when? Now. My time is now. How do I know? <laughs> I both feel it so and will it so. Something has aligned within my soul. Thanks for watching.